Nathaniel Massey was one of the most influential people in Ohio's history. He was a pioneer, a land surveyor, and a land developer. The Virginia Military District assigned him the job of surveying land after the Revolutionary War. He was also responsible for the development of 14 towns in both Ohio and Kentucky. In 1790, he surveyed the land which would become Massey Station, or the current town of Manchester, named after Manchester, England. He offered 19 men pieces of land if they were to settle in Massey Station. It became the fourth settlement in Ohio and the first ever settlement in the Virginia Military District. The residents built a fort around the town to protect themselves from the Shawnee Native American tribe. Massey Station was attacked frequently by the Shawnee. The Native Americans used three islands that are at this point in the Ohio River for ambushing the new settlers. This fort helped protect the settlers from the arrows of the Native Americans. Many settlers were killed in the attacks. Massey used this settlement as a base as he and his crew surveyed even more land, which he was given a portion of as his payment. He soon became one of the largest landowners in Ohio and one of the most renowned landowners in the East. After having made his first town, he moved on to create a town on the Scioto River called Chillicothe that was the first capital of Ohio. The population grew very quickly and Massey settled here with other prominent men, such as Thomas Worthington and Edward Tiffin. Manchester was right across from Kentucky, a major slave state, making it an important stop on the Underground Railroad. Slaves who had escaped their slave owners in Kentucky would come to Ohio to seek freedom and were helped by the townspeople. Manchester also housed a tobacco warehouse, pork processing company, buggy manufacturer, mill, and nursery. In the 19th century, Manchester became the largest town in Adams County. In 1908, the button factory began its service to the town. The muscles in the river provided them with the materials to manufacture the buttons. Over the years, though, the town's population has declined, and it has become a lesser-known town in the great state of Ohio.